They're not going too bad. You might have seen I've been giving them a bit of a condition score. So uh, we just made the decision we're going to start giving them a bit of barley. Would have had a fair few sheep through it by now, this thing. Shroom up, Max. Well, good morning, everyone. What is going on? Just uh, taking some crossbred um, lambs. Crossbred lambs. Well, they are. They, they're, they're ewe lambs. Um, these are ones that were joined uh, to try and get a lamb out of them earlier. And we're just going to give them a drench and um, give them the works drench, a vaccine, and probably a multi min too. I'm just taking them back to the yards at the moment. But um, yeah, you can see at the back here, there's actually a couple. A couple of lambs which is a bit strange because they don't look like they're Dorset fathers which is what they're meant to be. So something something they're not meant to lamb until uh, sort of middle of September. So I don't know what's happened there. Had to sum stuff up somewhere. They almost look like, I think they could be Merino fathers. So yeah, it's very strange. I'll have to ask Dad if he remembers seeing a ram in there. But no, nonetheless, we're get, getting them back and giving them their, their uh, pre-lamb. Another wicked day. It's been pretty good the past couple of weeks. It's been a lot of frost and a lot of sunny days like these blue skies. We don't know, we don't usually have, well, but I can really remember like having consecutive frosts like this and dry weather. It's uh, a little bit unusual for us in the winter time, but might be a sign of things to come, unfortunately. I don't know that they're, they're talking a bit of a rest of a dry year, but whether that means drought or not, I don't know, or it just means it's below average rainfall. Who knows? Palaton and the, the crops have certainly grown over the you know the past past week or so with this warm weather even though there, there is sort of uh, moisture on a bit of a decline saw so moisture there's, there still is a bit there Lenny come out of it shrimp up hey Carly come here good girl sit Carly good girl here Hey Maggie! Hey, 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 hey. Hey Maggie, hey Max, get over here. Hey Max. Here. Push him up. Push him up. Good job. Hey. Maggie, hey Maggie, hey Max, copy. It's a bit hard with those battery powered um, clippers to do them in the handler, so we're just gonna, once we've drenched and needled them and stuff, we'll just. Uh, I might even just crush them all now. Now, since we're gonna have to run them in the shed, we're hoping just to do it all through the handler. But yeah, as I said before, the, the Evo's in another place. They're not going too bad. You might have seen I've been giving them a bit of a condition score as we're going along. Um, they're sort of around that three, three and a half, which is all right. Back. Sorry. Hey, Max. Back. Come up. Hey, 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 hey. Shum up. Carly. He Carly back. He Carly. He Carly back. Up. Ah. Come here. Come here, everybody. Back, back. Okay, he max here. He Maggie, wrong way. Here, he max, he max. Back, back. Come out of it, Carly. He hop up. Get up. Get up. just put them in a paddock out here. We've 
decided we're going to um, start giving them a bit of feed because that's the time of year, it's sort of nearly the end of winter and just haven't got any fresh good paddocks for them to go on to. So uh, we just made the decision we're going to start giving them a bit of barley. Um, it's a bit of a help along. A few of them start to eat it there. They have been fed before when they were um, younger. Um, as for the ones we bought, I'm not sure. There's a mix of ones we bought and ones that we bred ourselves. So I know the ones we bought have been, ah, the ones that we bred have, were fed a little bit when they were younger. So there's a few of them into, the, into it there, you can see. Won't take them long though. They'll crossbred you, will take a free feed any day. Or young crossbred you, I should say. Got to put the bag over the top because you know what sort of birds get in there and eat the grain if we don't. A drink. Not real clean, is it? There's our victims. Just come out to uh, just come out to get these spring drop stud ewes in. Um, and yes, I said spring droppers. We do we do have another um, lot of studs that are going to lamb next month. The reason we do that really is just to get more lambs, as many as we can. So when the when the studs were pre scanned initially, uh, you know to pick out our, our main twins and singles that have already lambed. Um, obviously there was a portion that were dry and they got rejoined again uh, and then that's that's what these are these are, these are all the ones that were dry as initially so I don't know it's thought about it a fair bit this year with the whole joining and our, our joining program and how we could do it differently because all we're really doing with these is really is um, promoting the the less fertile sheep which is probably which is not really what we want to do um, so I just been thinking about it a little bit it's more lambs anyway Hey Carly, Carly, come out of it. Tell you what, it's hard up to find a good, good shirt these days. I think everyone I own's just about got a riff in it. Might have to uh, get on the old RB Sellers website and order a few more. I think about that time. Obviously, just going to do the same thing with these these old girls. Just run them through the sheep handler the year and give them a drench and a couple of needles. So there is a bit of air leaking out of this valve here, and I don't know. We sort of clean. There's a filter in here. We clean that and. I think there's moisture getting in the air compressor, that's half the trouble. And there must be, it's leaking out of there somewhere, but I, I don't know where. But there's a parts manual for this, so we might have to, might have to get, get that out and have a bit of a look, look around and see what we need. Would have had a fair few sheep through it by now, this thing. This year especially, we've used it a lot in the past, past year. You wait. Go back. Them up. He Maggie, come right up. He Maggie, he Mags. He Mags, come up here. Push him up. Push him up. Hey Carly, come here. Come out of it. I can come on down there, just go on the on the rye grass. Hey Carly, come here. Sit. Come here. 